Hello everyone, Tina here for Newton's Nick Designs. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the Newton Stocking Stamp Set. It's four by four, has a cute little present in there along with a paw print, along with Newton of course, and then fun sentiments that coordinate with that cute little stocking. There is a coordinating die set. We'll be using that for our card today along with the Meowy Christmas six by six paper pad. Love this paper pad. Let's jump in and create a card. We're going to start off by doing some stamping. Since Newton in the stocking is pretty, I would say on the larger size of an image, we're going to bring in the Mini Misty and some white cardstock. I'm going to ink up Newton with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and we're going to stamp on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock. I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring along with paper piecing. So we're going to start off by doing a little bit of coloring. So I'll only be coloring in Newton in his hat and in the white areas of the stocking. But as I color, I will play some music for you guys. I did leave the caps out and listed the ca uh, colors that I used of Copic markers up in the corner for you. But when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Now before we die cut out Newton, we're gonna go ahead and do our paper piecing. So I have this pattern paper from our Meowie Christmas six by six paper pad. I'm gonna trim down a rectangle that's about the same size as the stocking, and then we're gonna bring back the Misty. Um, the paper is heavy weight, which is fabulous, um, but there is a little bit of gloss to it. So we are gonna actually do um, some heat embossing. So I'll take the stocking, place it over, Just we just need the, the base of the stocking, but I'll place it over my pattern paper. We'll ink it up with Versamark or Versafine Onyx Black Ink. It's a sticky ink. You could use Versamark if you wanted to, um, but I'm going to go ahead and go over my image with my clear embossing powder. Now I did make a mistake and I didn't use my anti-static powder tool, but the nice thing, you can see that that embossing powder um, really build up. But once you tap it really good, it usually falls off. That's the great thing about this cardstock. I went ahead and melted it. Now I know my ink's not gonna smear and I can go ahead and use my scissors and I'm gonna fussy cut just around the base of the stocking. So I don't need the toe part or the heel or the cuff of my stocking, just the base part. And it's very easy to trim out, guys. I am trimming all the way to the line. And then we are good to go with our stocking. Um, since we do have a little bit of white showing, I'm gonna bring in my Memento marker and we're just gonna go around the edges with this. Um, this is just gonna clean up any white areas that I left when I fussy cut and it's gonna give it a real clean and finished look. Now before we adhere this piece to our stocking, let's take the coordinating dies and die cut out Newton in, in the stocking here. We'll just go ahead and use my nips and we'll separate these. Take the present away and then also the paw print. We'll line this up. It lines up beautifully. 
I'm going to grab some tape here so we can tape it down. Just making sure it's nice and centered. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this through my die cutting machine. And then Newton will be good to go. Go ahead and punch him out. Now we'll take the, my tape runner and I'll go ahead and paper piece my, my pattern paper. And really you could use any pattern paper that's in the set, but I really like the, the two-tone, the, the double red, kind of a zigzag stripe here. Easy peasy. Okay, now he's good to go. Let's go ahead and work on our background. Now, for the last project that I made for Newton's Nook Designs, I had used the teal colored stripe paper. Um, I put the extra pieces in my paper pad, but I want to put it to good use. I actually used the framework die set, the large postage edge piece. Um, when you die cut it out, it creates a nice postage ed edged background. But the negative piece leaves a really nice scallop, and I thought, we'll use that scallop. In fact, I want to create another scallop, just adding my postage edge die to some white cardstock. You'll see here in a minute when I die cut this out. Um, this piece would be the piece that you would normally use if you cut out a panel, but I'm going to actually use the negative piece and use that scallop. So that's a great thing about using your scraps up. Let's add some adhesive behind this, and then I'm going to just add the pattern paper over some white cardstock just just so about half of an inch shows just making sure it's even and then i'm going to lightly tack this down to a panel the panel that i'm using is four inches by five and a quarter and i'm going to line it up to make sure it's straight and then i'll go ahead and use my scissors and we'll trim off the excess go on the left side and the right side now I think my top piece is just a little bit too long for what I want to do. So I'm going to take that, since we lightly tacked it down, I did that intentional because I want to pop this up with foam adhesive, but I'm going to trim a quarter inch off the bottom, or actually it'll be off the top of this, um, and I think that's going to be the perfect height. But I'm going to take that quarter inch and we're going to just use the tape runner and adhere that to the bottom of our panel. So we have some stripes on the bottom. And then also we have that little scallop edge on the very top. For this piece, we're going to flip it over and I'm going to add foam adhesive behind it just to give it a little bit of dimension. Go down the middle here. I'm going to go ahead, add this and we'll remove the release paper. And then this is going to go on the very top of our panel. I have an extra piece, so it works out perfect for Newton. <laughs> I like to do this on panels because um, it gives me a little bit of a border around my card base, and I just like that, kind of framing my, my focal point. Let's adhere this to our card base. Our card base today is a top folding A2 size card base. Go ahead and make sure it's centered. Place that on there. I'm going to flip my, my card base around. When I scored it, I had a little bit of an edge showing on the back side, so we're going to use the front side here. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to line up Newton where I want him to go on my panel, and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. Our sentiment for this card, lots of cute ones. Um, pur purry Holidays, how cute is that? Meowy, Catmus. <laughs> I'm going to use um, Santa Paws is coming. I think that's so cute. I'm going to stamp with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It's a nice dark ink. And then I'll remove the release paper off of my uh, Newton stocking and we'll place him on there. Okay, now uh, to me he just kind of looks a little bit boring, so we're going to add some bells and whistles. Now I went through my stash and I found some pine needles. Um, and I just die cut out some out with green cardstock and then also some silver cardstock. I thought this would be perfect for um, putting behind the stocking, just kind of a filler and really any kind of leaf foliage that you have. Maybe even some holly leaves would be pretty behind here. But I'm just adding some green and silver, about four to the left of Newton, and then I have one left over, or maybe five to the left. I'm going to ha have one little. Um, Pine needle left over and we'll put him to the right. 
Now we're going to add some bells and whistles. Literally, I have three silver bells that I've had in my stash since last year. I'm going to take some white twine and we are going to thread three of these silver bells through the white twine. We're just going to thread them through and then put them at the halfway mark. And then I'm going to tie a knot, but not close the knot all the way. I'll show you here what I mean in just a minute. Let's thread all three of these. Um, before we close the knot, I'm going to take the loop and put it around Newton's tail. We're basically tying a knot around Newton's tail. It was like the perfect spot for these little bells. <laughs> and then I'll take that twine and then tie one more knot just so it secures it. And then we can take the, the twine and create a bow with it. So we have three bells with a bow here. And I just think that looks, that's just what we needed. After we have this done, trimming the tails, I'm not going to add any more bells and whistles. I think this is just the perfect amount. Um, and I thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my project. Everything's listed down below if you guys are interested. Have a great day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.